inspiration sa ating mga kapatid. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. There's nothing impossible. All you need to do is come to God. All you need to do is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only true God. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through Him. Believe in Him. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Next A is to admit. Sabi sa verse 10, That's why I take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults, hardship, persecution, and trouble that troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. We have to admit that in life, there will be always insult, there will be always hardship, my persecutions, my troubles. But let it be a suffering for the name of Christ. Admit that we are weak, church. Admit that we need God. Let us admit that we can do nothing without God. Because apart from Him, we can do nothing. God is our source of strength in times of trouble. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart rejoices and I give thanks to Him with my song. Always admit. There's nothing wrong na sabihan ka na hindi ko kaya yan. There's nothing wrong na wala ka kaya. There's nothing wrong kung mahina ka. It's okay. But make sure that in your weakness, put Christ as your priority. Okay? In Mark 11, 22 to 25, Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. Tayo din dapat, we have that faith in God. I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen, but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. No, dapat meron tayong expectation, dapat meron tayong that kind of faith that it will really happen no? when you ask for something. I tell you, we uh, can pray for anything and if you believe, you receive it. No? This is a victory that we have. No? Even when you pray, you believe, you will receive it. No? When you are praying, when you are praying, First, forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your Father in Heaven will forgive you your sins. Napaka-importante po na when we pray, there is forgiveness. No? Kung may mga grudges tayo sa mga kapatiran natin, be a forgiving as God forgives you. Many things here in life we can happen. No? There are happenings in life na marantay mga encounters, sa mga adversities na ito, sa mga paghihirap, sa mga troubles. But what if those adversities or troubles actually God is preparing you for something? Would you believe that? Yes. Yeah. So having such thorns in the flesh, when we admit that we cannot do it without God, it is a humbling experience. Letting it go, letting it God to control what is best for us would be a wonderful experience. It could be a miracle in our life. No? When we say, Lord, I cannot do that. I cannot do anything without you. Please help me. Because your testing, you know, the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Okay? When there is a thorn in the flesh, admit that you are weak and let be a lesson to learn to increase our faith. Maraming mga Christians, they are living in discouragement and never realize that God is actually working in our life through these adversities in order to increase our faith. Eh, gusto nyo ba ng adversities? Ito na. Gusto nyo? 
Gusto niyo ng kahirapan? Huwag naman, Pastor. Huwag lang muna ngayon, Lord. Ha? Ha? Pinag-aralan na natin. But when it comes, it will come, it will go, but God will always be on our side. Okay? You are not fighting these adversities alone, but we are with God always, that He is always there on our side. Ha? Kaya lang minsan, we are I encountering so much of this adversity this bucket kasi baka may disobedience tayo nagawa. Baka may mga kasalanan na naman tayong nagawa. Not nagbulag-bulagan lang tayo. Or it could be a form of discipline na kinakailangan natin. Huh? It could be a form of correction. So it is actually making us mature when we check on ourselves kung ano nangyari sa ating buhay. At just accept it. Just admit that you are weak. Okay? Sabi sa Isaiah 41, 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Napakabuti ng Panginoon. God speaks directly to our fears and anxieties and telling us, his presence will always be there. That the strength and support in every hardship, God will be with all of us. Pwede ba palakpakan ulit natin ang Panginoon? Napakabuti ng ating Panginoon. Okay? Conclusion sa mga nagutom. Okay? Ano ang makonclude natin sa ating napag-aralan? Okay. We are not free from adversity, mga kapatid. Huh? We are not exempted. People outside may harass us, insult us, mock us, and even belittle us. Bigyan tayo ng trouble here and there. But it is necessary for our development of our faith, exercising our faith. Okay? Pangalawa, the Lord allows adversity in our life to increase our faith in God. Okay? The more adversity that we have and we encounter and we overcome it, this allows us to be more closer to God kasi we will be talking to Him more, communicating more to Him and yield to His plans. Okay? Adversity can renew us spiritually. Bakit? Kasi hindi mo na kaya. No? Uh, sabi ka kanina, nabasa natin, we count, count it all joy. No? Knowing that our God is our source of help. Knowing that we are not alone fighting for it. Knowing that He will complete it with our joy to be complete also. Let us not forget that God is our source of everything. Okay? Minsan, adversity is a form of discipline sa ating na mga Christians. God, our Father, loves you and me. Kaya as legitimate children sa ating pinag-aralan, kinakailangan na magdisiplina din tayo. He does what pleases Him. He does not want you and me to go back to the darkness kasi nasa light na tayo. Okay? Galatians 3. So in Christ, you are children of God through faith. Mga anak tayo ng Diyos. Okay? For all of you who are baptized into Christ have brought yourselves with Christ. Let the name of Christ be magnified and be glorified. That's all right. And let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. And Lord, in every adversity that we're facing, let it be an opportunity for us to grow in faith, Father God, through Christ our Lord. So Lord, we thank you and we praise you for what you have done in our lives and for all the things that you have shown to us, that you have taught us. May your name be praised forever and ever. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Remain standing. Are you blessed, church? Yes. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. How many times did Paul ask the Lord? Ilan beses na nag-beg siya sa Lord? Ilan? Three times, iba? At ano ang sagot ng Panginoon sa kanya? Sabi niya, my grace is all you need. Diba? Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya. Sabi niya, my grace is sufficient for you. Bakit daw? For my for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Amen? Amen. 
this morning it gives us a good perspective when it comes to adversity or suffering. It gives us understanding na when there is a suffering or adversity, when we have the right attitude turning to Christ, they allowing Him to take over, then our adversity becomes a gift. Ewan kaya sabi niya, for when I am weak, I am strong. Because God, the Lord Jesus Christ, is taking over in our weakness. Sabihin natin, mula ngayon, inaalaw ko si Jesus na mag-take over sa aking buhay. Na mag-take over sa aking adversity. So that when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise God. Church, let's uh, have our response. So. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you, Pastor.